Good. How's that practice today? It was good. Uh, a lot of guys flying around and, you know, just being us, doing what we do. Is there a bump of energy this week coming off that bye week? Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, we got a lot of fresh legs right now, and uh, we're just ready for UTEP, so. What was your reaction to UTSA getting left out of the college football playoff rankings yesterday? Uh, we still got four more games left, uh, so we just go try to play the, to the best of our ability and everything else take care of itself. Is that something Coach Trailer talked to you guys about this morning, or is trying to use some motivation here? Uh, yeah, I mean, to me, it's just poking the bear. So we just got to go out uh, every Saturday and handle business. He certainly had some fun on Twitter with these uh, tennis. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we saw the memes this morning. They were pretty funny. But, uh, I mean, you know, we, ju we just want our respect. I mean, we just go go out and play uh, how we know how to play. And, uh, like I said, everything else take care of itself. Yeah, does that, does that USTA thing bother you guys? Or, or, you know, how do you react to that in general? I mean, if you don't, I mean, we're undefeated. So if you don't know, like, the school name by now, at least, you know, say it right. But, I mean, they're just poking the bear. So what about uh, UTEP? What are some of the things they do good? Uh, they got a great defense. Um, their offense is a good offense. Uh, it's nothing that we haven't seen before. I, I compare them to, uh, like, Rice, maybe a Rice type of deal. Uh, they like to get in a bunch of heavy sets and run the ball and uh, do a lot of play action and max protection. So uh, those guys do a lot of great things. I mean, they're 6-2 and two for a reason. So, I mean, it's going to be a good game, and we know we're going to have to play our best football to uh, beat those guys. Coach Schrader was saying their offense is kind of methodical. How do you guys kind of prevent from getting low to sleep, for back of, lack of better words? Uh, yeah, they do it like they do a lot of things. They want you to bite on the run and try to hit you over the top with the uh, with the shots over the top. They got two great wide receivers, number one and number six. Uh, the quarterback trusting those guys. Quarterback got a he got a big arm. So, I mean, you just can't fall asleep on the back end. You just gotta take care of the run up front, and everybody just gotta do their one assignment. We'll be fine. Have you guys been especially physical in practice this week coming off the the bye, or is that no different from usual? Yeah, we always physical. So. It's every day, everyday thing, no matter if it's by week or coming off uh, off season, we always feel cool. I know after the eight straight games, there was some talk of maybe some fatigue setting in for you guys. Do you see a big difference this week just in terms of how fresh everybody is? Uh, I mean, just everybody just fresh. We want to play football. We just love to kind of practice and play football. So I just think that's where that energy is coming off from. And, uh, you know, uh, this morning not being ranked, that, that definitely brought energy. So we, we ready to go. Did you get to do anything different with a couple of days off? Something outside of football, maybe? Did you know? Uh, yeah. Uh, I went out with my buddies. Uh, to to my buddies' ranch, and you know, uh, did a little uh, hunting. And uh, I spent time with my son. Took him to the pump, pumpkin patch. Uh, so that was a great bye week for me, just getting away from football. I didn't even watch football, NFL or college. So I was just trying to get my mind away from football, and you know, come back with a fresh mind, ready to get 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 at UTEP. You feel like some of the players are kind of refreshed, coming re-energized coming off the bye week? Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, when you've been at eight straight weeks, I mean, probably 12, including fall camp. So uh, it, was, it was a great uh, week for us to just, you know, kind of relax and just chill and not have to worry about, you know, traveling or, you know, coming to practice. But yeah, overall, we got better at the fundamentals of the game, and, uh, you know, we're prepared for UTEP. Hey, look, before the season, I asked you about the biggest opportunity for UTSA, and, and you said adversity. I just wanted to get an update on, on is, is what is still the biggest opportunity for UTSA as, as you guys finish out the season? Uh, I mean, like you said, adversity as well it could strike again. You know, uh, I think adversity has hit us in every game, and we handled it well. Uh, so I think the biggest challenge right now is just going to be staying focused and the leaders stepping up the lead, you know, uh, those guys in the single digits, myself as well, and on the leadership council, we have to step up and we'll, uh, we'll go as far as this, you know, the leadership council and the single digits take us. So we got to lead those young guys and, you know, uh, keep them focused and keep them focused on the task. We're not done yet. You guys have a really late kickoff coming up Saturday. How does that sort of change the way you go through that day compared to a more normal week? Uh, a lot more risks. Uh, I think guys will be energized because we're playing a lot at night. I love night games, especially on the road. I mean, Night games on the road is, is like, and we're on national TV. It's going to be the only game on, so we're going to be ready. Are you the type to take a nap during the day? Or are you kind of jittery and locked in, or what's your approach to that time? Uh, like on normal days, I usually don't take a nap, but I'll probably get one in just because we're playing late. But I, I really don't believe in taking naps because once I wake up, I'll be 
I don't want to do nothing else. So I probably won't even take no nap. I'll probably just uh, get some extra film in and, you know, just chill with the guys, watch some football and, you know, prepare like that. You guys have uh, been really good about not trying penalties this year as a team. I think you rank as, like, last in the nation in terms of total penalties. Is there anything that's key to that sort of discipline, or how have you guys been able to do that? Uh, Coach Trailer just, you know, uh, holds us accountable. Uh, these guys up front uh, in the leadership, they hold everybody accountable. And uh, we just don't, you know, try not to, you know, get involved with the extracurricular activities outside of the play. Uh, once the whistle blown, we go go back and line up, do it again. But in between the play, that's when we make our, our statement. We don't do it after the whistle. We don't, you know, uh, try to do extra things. But we'll beat you in between the whistles. All right, thanks, Zach.